All right, guys, it is 4.25 a.m., March 12th, and we're off to Kobe's. First Kobe's of the year. Very, very exciting stuff. Looking forward to it. Sponsoring this one again. We have a completely different spot than normal. It's gonna be a good one. Super early, I'm trying to get over there before anybody else gets set up, so let's get to it. Since I was a sponsor for the show, I ended up getting in a few minutes earlier and didn't have to wait in any sort of line, so I ended up avoiding most of the mayhem that everybody else experienced when getting into the event. Since it was just me and Lola, we had a lot of work on our hands and it took quite some time to figure out how we were going to set up the spot because we had a ton of real estate to work with and hadn't really worked with that many spaces back to back to back to back before. We ended up coming up with a pretty cool setup that drew in a lot of attention through the course of the day. So we are nearly set up right now. We got the homies from over at Holy Ground. They set up with us today. Boom baby, how we looking over here? The Holy Ground crew. They got a nice little setup. We hooked them up with a table and some sands, and boy, they got it going. And holy ground, make sure you check them out. Coming through, you can see us from behind. Already made an early morning purchase. Somebody came through with a bunch of ETBs for me. Champion's Path, Shining Fades, Fusion Strikes, Celebrations, Brilliant Stars, we got a whole bunch. Setup is looking fire. We'll do a quick stand check through in just a minute, but uh, yeah, we we get into it. We get into it. Kobe's first show of 2022, and it's gonna be a good one. All right, it's about 9.30. We've been going strong for a little while now. Sales have been halfway decent. Doing a lot of Pokemon card sales yet again. Shit is slamming. Let's take a quick look around the table. You guys can see what the layout looks like, and then uh, maybe we'll try to get a quick little cruise in if we're able to. One of the reasons why I love vending at Kobe so much is because it's local to me in San Diego. Because of this, I'm able to pack up an entire U-Haul and bring over the entire collection to this show. I typically have well over 140 pairs of shoes at every single Kobe's. Due to having so many events in close proximity, my inventory was a little bit lighter, but that's okay because we were able to show it off really nicely. We end up bringing even all of the vintage shoes to put on display so people can see some of the OG Jordans dating back from 1990. I also have all of my custom sneakers and we make sure that we bring out all of our Pokemon cards with us because those have been traditionally a very hot seller at Kobe's. We always end up investing in a ton of square footage at Kobe's and we try to make the most of it by utilizing every single inch that we have. The day was getting started on a bang and we had a ton of people coming over to check out the Pokemon cards quite honestly. There were a lot of people throughout the course of the day that were absolutely loving the fact that we had such a variety. Luckily, I was able to step away from the stand several times during the course of the day to grab a little bit of footage and check in with friends to see how their sales were going. The first stand that I stopped by was the homies from over at Beep Hole Kicks. If you guys are familiar with my Have You Seen series, you'll recognize the name. What'd you do, bring the whole store over? Now I want to give a big shout out to Kyle who is pictured right in the frame right now. He's one of the guys that runs Bee Pull Kicks and he's doing an amazing job with the store. He wasn't in the day that I went to film my Have You Seen episode, but he's the homie and I wanted to give him a big shout out and some recognition for the great job that he's doing. Nah, you're, you're doing stuff that doesn't sell, so I'm great. <laughs> okay. Yo, did you see the feature? Yeah, I saw that. Nice, I saw that. man. Yeah, it was nice. nice. I bet I wasn't there, bro. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. Was that that was your mom that was there, right? Yeah, that was my mom. I tried, I tried talking to her, and she was like, right, go, go not, talk to Quentin. Go not, talk to Quentin. Not, <laughs> not, I hate, like, okay, okay. Fair enough, man. Right next door to B Pull Kicks were the homies from the Sneak City, who I actually haven't seen at many events recently. Oh, we would have brought them. How's it going? You tell me. How's it going? So good to see you. See you too. How's everything? Good. Good. Great. Yeah, it's. Busy, man. We bought way more than we expected. Got to see you come down. Figure out how to get it all back to the Airbnb. The car's already full. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. But we're having so much fun. We made it. Rock on. Yeah, it's good to see you guys. I'm so happy that you guys came through. This is awesome, dude. 
How long are you guys in town for? Till Monday, Monday. Till Monday? Yeah. All right. As I headed closer towards the entrance, I saw my homies over at Rich Sneakers and decided to pay them a visit. You gotta come through and say what up to the homies. How we doing? How we doing? About half gone. Half gone already. Damn. Yeah, here, homies cleaning up right now. Take a picture of those. Unreleased. Reverse Moco. Travis won. I would ask how you got them, but... <laughs> I'm not a... I'm not a liberty to say. I, I understand that, so that's why I didn't ask. Yo, shout it out right quick. Yeah, check us out, Rich Sneakers. Right here. Cool. Rock on. Thank you, Silva. Of course, man, of course. As I continued to cruise around, I saw all sorts of familiar faces, and I saw a lot of the homies from Arizona. I saw the name and I had to come through. Uh, what up, what up? I'm buying food in my teeth. Tell, tell the people. Oh, tell man. them all about it. Uh, come, come check us out, man. We're over here at Kobe Swap Meet, but uh, we're Desert Kicks and Heat. We're located in Arizona. We're at Sarah Vista. You can check us out on Instagram uh, and Facebook, where you use a lot of Instagram. Uh, but yeah, man, go hit up Sailboat too, man. He got a lot of good stuff. I seen him earlier this morning. My God. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> Big shout out to the homies from Desert Kicks and Heat. They have always been showing love and they have always been representing sailboat supplies in the channel for as long as I can remember. So thank you guys for the continued support and appreciate you guys always showing out to these events. As I continued to cruise through the event, I saw more familiar faces like Gian's Kicks as well as Plugged By Him. And apparently they were both having a hell of a day at Kobe's. Hey, 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 what's good, dude? Yo, shout yourself out right quick so the people hey, know where to find you. Here, you see it. We got full size runs on almost everything. Half them we clipped already. We had 20 pairs of slides. Now we only got seven. Shit, 20 to seven, man. Yeah, we... that... I knew I recognized some of the uh, display here. Guy has all the starfish lows. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good to see you, man. How's everything? Good, good, and you? Good, man. How's sales been? Good, like. Yeah, I feel that. After being away from the stand for a while, it was time to get back. But I had one more pit stop. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> When's the paint class starting? Uh, first week of what's next month? How'd we do? Three sales. Three sales? Yeah. What'd we sell? Character chain. Six brilliant stars and one brilliant star. No chase game. No chase game. Okay, so we sell Pokemon cards. More and more card sales. We were selling a ton of Pokemon cards and one of our favorite things to do is play chase games where people would open the pack for an extra dollar and if they hit the chase card, they won a prize. Shrewish? A yeah. grotto reverse? Uh Although we didn't hit any of the chase cards and have any actual giveaways throughout our Pokemon openings, we definitely had a really good time. It kept everybody at our stand entertained and it seemed like everybody was really enjoying themselves. Of course, we couldn't neglect the sneaker sales and we ended up hustling a few sneakers throughout the course of the day as well. Pokemon cards firing on all cylinders today. We're getting six packs right now. Did you get all six? 
Nice. Have a good one. Crazy day, guys. Did not sell nearly as much as expected, but a ton of Pokemon card sales. Gonna do a quick lap around before the place closes down, have a little bit of fun with it, and see who's still around, who's willing to say what up. There they are. Up, brother? How are there you? they are. The squad. Yeah, they both in the building. How we do today? What's up, bro? We're doing great, bro. Did good? That was awesome. Glad yeah. to hear it, man. I'm glad to hear it. Shut it out. Where are we find you guys? Check us out at Corner. Let's go. Get all your vintage sneakers and anything else. Boom, baby! They sold a lot today. They sold a whole bunch today. I've been tight with the homies at SD Heat Collabs for a little while now, and they're just a really great group of people. They've sold me a whole bunch at insanely fair prices, and I really appreciate the fact that they're always bringing a good vibe and good prices into the San Diego community. Big shout out to those guys. What's going on? Like in the Space Jam Jordans, man. It's nice. yeah. So these were pre-worn, yes. 11 and a half. Correct. It's the only size you have, right? Only size okay, I got, size yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. do a little bit better on the listed price. Really? Sure. Yeah. No, I could do 300 hey. bucks on them. How much? 300 bucks. 300? Yeah. That's a pretty good deal, man. It's not bad. Making it harder for me now. Hey, okay. doing what I can. They're <laughs> hey. from San Fran. I said we have a yeah, oh, okay, no San Fran. We have okay. a couple Yeah, well, I'll, be, I'll be up there on the 26th. I've always wanted to get some Jordans. This specific shoe. Sure, sure. That would be my... My size. My girlfriend's trying to talk about his purchase. So what's your size? Specific, Eleven and a half. <laughs> like, Try it on me. if you want, man. I did. I did. I was like, man, it fits good. One seventy-five. Yeah, nice. They're real nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you're asking my opinion, I think you should grab. I like it. No. You want it? What's up? What's up? What are we buying today? Uh, if you want to grab both of them together, I'd hit you at 270. That's the absolute lowest I can do. You know you want to. <laughs> the wheels are turning. The wheels are turning. <laughs> I'd be losing money at 260. I got to do 270. Yeah. 270. All right. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's run it! I love it! Yeah, this way I'm, I'm just getting my money back. I overpaid on both of them to be complete. Or on one of them. One of them I really overpaid. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take those. My guy. Cool, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you coming through. Thank you for helping to clear out a little bit of inventory at the end of the day, make it easy, easier for us to pack. So, unfortunately, nothing too crazy happened towards the end of the day. But I will say that we had a great time at this Kobe swap meet. Although it wasn't the best one sales wise, we definitely made a ton of amazing connections and really, really enjoyed ourselves. All right, guys, that about does it for this episode of Sailboats Sneaker Convention Vlogs. Obviously, we kind of came to a slow end. There wasn't too much action that was happening at the end of the day and people pretty much just packed up and got out of there. Unfortunately, it wasn't the heaviest sales day for us ever, but it still turned out to be a pretty good day overall with a lot of really great connections made and a lot of people that came through the stand to check out what we had to offer. I want to give a big shout out to everybody that made a guest appearance. I really do appreciate you guys allowing me to come through and capture a little bit of footage for this video. And I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about Kobe's. Do you guys think that this looked like a good show or did it seem like it was a little bit slower than some of the other shows that I've done in the past? If you guys have any critiques for this video or any suggestions of what you'd like to see in videos for future conventions, please. Let me know in the comments. The only way that I'm going to be able to continue to improve these videos is if you guys tell me what it is that you want to see in the future. For all of you guys that are still watching, if you could take the extra 10 seconds to go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Honestly, it's only two finger clicks. It takes less than 10 seconds and it really helps to support this channel and push me forward to continue to make great content for you guys. As always, if you guys are ever curious about any of the projects that I have going on or any of the stuff that I have for sale, you can check out the website at www.sailboatsupplies.xyz. And of course, 
You can find me on social media at Sailboat Supplies. For everybody that's been continuing to keep up with my YouTube channel, a sincere thank you. I really do appreciate the support. It goes a long way and definitely helps to push me to continue to create. As per usual, a big thank you to everybody that stuck around until the cold, bitter end of this video. You guys already know, I'm Sailboat and I'm out of here.